guys, welcome back to Real Talk. So today's video is going to be on why I decided to buy the Polo GTI out of all my other options. I do get asked quite frequently, why did you get a Golf Cruise? Why did you get this? And hopefully today's video is going to be a breakdown of why I finally decided to go with the Polo GTI. So let's get into the video. Okay, so let's get on to why I decided to go for the Polo GTI. So the, the biggest reason was, if I'm being honest, is I had in my mind when I turned 18 I wanted to get a new car. I was in an older 1.2 52 plate Polo, which as you can imagine was slow as hell, and it was my goal to get into a brand new car at the age of 18. So being 18, you can imagine insurance was, was a pretty big thing and a lot of cars anyway, I wanted to get into something fast because I'm into my cars and a lot of cars were immediately written off and I mean the likes of the AMG A45 insurance was just, I'm talking in excess of 8 grand the S3, that's, that's not so much the insurance, that was just expensive but that is one of the main reasons why this caught my eye because the insurance, believe it or not was actually really cheap for my second, second year driving at 18 it came back at just under two grand without a black box, which is, which I think anyway is really good. So that was one of the things. On to the second reason why I decided to get this was before I did, a lot of people were asking me, or even when I did, people asked me, why didn't you decide to get an A-Class or an A3 or something smart, you know? And the reason for that is because I wanted the most power I could possibly get for the budget that I had. So yeah. I wanted as much power as I could possibly get for the budget that I had, which for around 20 grand, I've actually paid, I believe it was about 23 for this with the options that I had. And you know, if you wanted to step up the game to your super hot hatch level, you're talking in excess of, you know, 35 grand, which I wasn't prepared to spend. So immediately that wrote off the likes of the M135 as well as insurance. The S1. By the time you spec it how you want it, it's almost the price of an S3, so why not get an S3, which was too expensive anyway. So this really, really done it for me. And again, we still had the likes of the ST and the VXR to consider. So onto the third reason. So I had my three cars in mind, which were either this, a Fiesta ST, or the Corsa VXR. Now, one of the main reasons I prefer this is I just think it's more of a statement on the road. You've got your GTI badging everywhere and everyone knows what a GTI is. is. That the ST, you see it absolutely everywhere. You know, everyone's got an ST and you don't find yourself looking twice at it. Where's this? A lot of people know what a GTI is. And you put your foot down regardless. The ST has a kind of torque that this has got. Now I just went around a bend there at ridiculous speed. I almost shat myself, I don't know if you could tell that in the camera, but I thought I was going to crash and die, but I didn't, which is good. So yeah, that's the, the reason for the ST, is it's a great car, don't get me wrong, it's a great handling car, it's a great car for where I am anyway in terms of country lanes to really enjoy it, but I just don't think they look the part, they don't look better than the Polo GTI anymore. So that's why I decided to write that off, as well as it is slightly down on power compared to the GTI. Now the big one is the VXR. Why didn't I get the VXR? People ask me that. Because why don't you get a VXR instead of this? Here it has more power, the tiniest bit more power. But I don't really like the look of it. It's hard to distinguish what is an actual VXR. If there's one behind me now, I would know if that's the VXR or your, is it the SRIs, the sporty ones? Because it's really, really hard to distinguish. The only, the only thing that's different really is your VXR badging and the back you've got two exhausts on each side. So that's why I didn't go for the VXR. I thought the Polo GTI was just a better all-rounder, better looking, had similar power and one of the main reasons is the interior is just so much nicer in VWs anyway compared to the likes of Ford and Vauxhall. So that is the third reason I decided to go for this. Now the biggest one is why don't you get a Golf? Now I understand that I like the look of the Golfs, 
but can I justify spending an extra six, seven grand on a Golf for for what really? It looks slightly different. And when I say slightly different, at the front, you would not be able to tell if you're coming down a motorway. The back, yeah, it's a little bit different. But why am I gonna fork out an extra seven grand for claims, not 60 time, 0.2 seconds quicker, and a slightly higher top end? And I've driven both cars, and I can really, honestly, I can tell you, the Polo feels a lot quicker, especially on the roads around here anyway. You're not really going to be maxing out a car in general unless you take it to an autobahn, which then, yes, you would see the difference. I'm not slagging off the golf here. It feels more ferocious, and I love driving it as well. But that is another reason why I decided to go for this. So, yeah, those are the reasons why I decided to go for this out of anything else. So, so guys, those are the reasons why I decided to go for the Polo GTI. I hope it's helped. If someone's in the market looking to get in their first kind of hot hatch, I hope it's helped narrow it down. As well as that, my advice to you is just test drive as many cars as you possibly can so you can come to like a valid conclusion. I do have to apologize for the lack of external content, generally on the GoPros outside the car, everything like that, because this is what happened last time I was filming. So yeah, you can imagine it was the GoPro itself was completely destroyed. I'm gonna be getting my hands on more equipment over the next couple of months. So expect better videos, better, better editing as well, because obviously I'm improving. And something new that I want to introduce to the channel is if you've got a car and you want to get it featured, just drop me an email. I'm going to put my email in the description and I'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, we could possibly meet up, do some cool shots and just have a laugh really. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.